Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last quick fire quiz of the week. Uh, my name is Mr. Chapman. I'm a primary school teacher, and I also really enjoy running quizzes, and that is why I am called the Quiz Wizard. If you've been taking part this week, thank you. I really appreciate it, and I hope you've enjoyed the quizzes. Don't worry, there will be more quizzes next week. So please tell your friends, get other people to come along to the YouTube channel and have a try at them themselves. So, have you got your pen and paper ready? Or are you going to write your, question, your answers down on your tablets today? Let's see what the last quiz of the week has in store for us. So, question one is a grammar question. I'd like to start with those. What is the relative clause in this sentence? Amy, who is my oldest friend, Message me to say hello. What is the relative clause in this sentence? Amy, who is my oldest friend, messaged me to say hello. Question two is a maths question. What is half of a meter in centimeters? What is half of a metre in centimetres? Think about what you might need to do if you are um, finding one half of something. Later on, perhaps you could go around your house and find some things that are half of a metre long or wide or, or a, or a metre long. Question three, I love Roald Dahl stories. If you get the chance, you've got some at home, or you can borrow one from a friend, please do. They're fantastic. This is one of my favorites too. In the Roald Dahl book, the BFG, what does BFG stand for? So what do the letters B, F, G, the acronym, what does that stand for? Each of those letters stands for a word. But what is it? Question four. This is science. This is about life cycles. A butterfly larva is called a caterpillar. In the next stage of the life cycle, what happens to the caterpillar? Let's read that one again. A butterfly larva is called a caterpillar. In the next stage of its life cycle, what happens to the caterpillar? Try and picture that life cycle in your mind's eye and think about what, the, what happens next. Again, there's lots of different life cycles that you could, you could research. You may have learned about some of them in Key Stage 1 as well. Question 5, history. What are the ships the Vikings used to sail called? What are the ships the Vikings used to sail called? There's a picture of one here as well. Got their giant oars and everybody has to all pull together to make sure that it sails. Halfway through already. There we go. Question six. Where does the president of the USA live? Uh, I know someone would have said it. They would have said the USA. I mean, in what building? So, where does the president of the USA live? In what building? What's the name of the building that he lives in? It's got a special name. Question seven. In the fairy tale, Cinderella, what does Cinderella leave behind at the ball? In the fairy tale, Cinderella, what does Cinderella leave behind at the ball? Question eight. What is the expanded noun phrase in this sentence? The long green gr grass glinted in the sunlight. The long green grass glinted in the sunlight. Let's 
if you're unsure think about the word classes in the sentence that you do know and you might be able to work it out from there if you know what a noun phrase is you may be able to work out what an expanded noun phrase is but as usual if you're unsure don't worry i'll go through it at the end Question nine, a maths question. What number must be added to 87 to make the sum of 123? So other words, sum mean total, so it can total um, all together. So what number must be added to 87 to make the sum of 123? A number line is probably a very good method here. Give it a try and I'll go through how to use that later. Some of you in upper key stage two might be able to do this mentally as well, but it's always good to show you're working out. If you're not sure, don't worry. We'll go through a method and you can try some practice ones later on. Ask mum or dad or someone at home to write you some practice questions. Got an answer now? If you've got this one right, well done. And our last question of the quiz. In Harry Potter, what are the names of the Weasley twins? In Harry Potter, what are the first names of the Weasley twins? And you finished the quiz for today. So we've done pats on the back. We've done rounds of applause. I think today we should give ourselves a whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. You finished your first week's worth of quizzes with the quiz master. Right, before we go through the answers, let's have a little bit of a bonus round in the middle. Fitness, this, um, fitness on this quiz today. So we've got 60 seconds. I'm gonna get you to do 20 seconds of each of these. So you can do them wherever you are. So the first one we're gonna do is star jumps. Okay, I'll give you a countdown um, and then we can start for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Come on, let's get those star jumps going. Make them as nice and wide as you possibly can. See how many you can get done in 20 seconds. You've done 10 seconds already. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And stop and give everything a little bit of a shake. And get ready for running on the spot. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, I'm tired after that one. Just got twenty more seconds of push ups to go. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, how many did you do? Oh, I got 15. How many did you get? Oh, well, I hope we're ready to go through the answers now. Woo. So, question one was relative clauses. The relative clause in this sentence, Amy, who is my oldest friend, messaged me to say hello. The relative clause is who is my oldest friend. Relative clauses are additional pieces of information dropped into a sentence and they usually start with who, which, when or where. 
if you take the relative clause out of the sentence, it still makes sense on its own. So Amy messaged me to say hello. Amy, who is my oldest friend, messaged me to say hello. Question two, what is half of a meter in centimeters? There are 100 centimeters in a meter, and a half means you divide by two. So 100 centimeters divided by two equals 50 centimeters. As I said earlier, why not find things around the house that are approximately around one meter long or wide? Estimate them first, have a guess. Question three, BFG stands for Big Friendly Giant. Again, if you're feeling creative today, you might want to try and write your own um, short story in the style of Roald Dahl. He uses lots of descriptions, so you can use adjectives, uh, expanded noun phrases, and we also looked earlier on the week at changing the structure of your sentence. So that's something that you could do. And then you could even maybe draw a picture in the style of Quentin Blake, who is his illustrator. Question four. So we were looking at life cycles of um, a butterfly. So a butterfly larva is called caterpillar. In the next stage, what happens to the caterpillar? Uh, we can look here, it starts off as an egg and then it turns into a larva or a caterpillar. Then the larva turns into a pupa, which is also known as a chrysalis, and it can also sometimes be known as the cocoon. And then it waits in there, eventually it cracks out, bursts open, turns into an adult butterfly. Um, and then the cycle starts again because the adult butterfly then goes and lays an egg on a leaf and the whole cycle starts again. Well done if you got that right. Question five. Viking ships are called longboats. They're called longboats. Question six. The president of the USA lives in the White House. How many other US presidents can you think of? Donald Trump is the president now, but can you think of any others before him? Question seven, in the fairy tale Cinderella, Cinderella leaves behind the glass slipper and that's how the prince manages to find her because it only fits her foot. Question eight, the expanded noun phrase, the long green grass glinted in the sunlight. It's long and green. So, a noun phrase is just an adjective to describe a noun. An expanded noun phrase is where you've got more than one adjective to describe the noun. So um, they can go before or after the noun. So in this case, we've got it before and they're split by a comma, the long green grass. That's how the grass is described. However, it could go after the grass. The grass is long and green and glinted in the sunlight. Question nine, what number must be added to 87 to make the sum of 123? I had to draw this freehand, so um, Mr. Chapman's not the artiest of people. But what I would do here is I put the two numbers that we're trying to um, find the difference between. So 87 at one end and 123 at the other. And I just do it in manageable chunks. So what's my next 10? My next 10 is 90. So I have to add three to get to that, 88, 89, 90. Then I look for the 10 that is closest to my total and that's 120, so I count on in 10s from 90. 100, 110, 120. So I've added 30 to get to there. And my final jump is from 120 to 123. So 121, 122, 123, that's three again. And I'll just have to put all those pieces together. So it's 30, add three, add three, which is 36. Okay. So, other questions that you could try, you could just change your starting number and your um, sum number. So you could do, uh, what number must be added to 63 to get to 144? Or what number must be added to 91 to get to 117? Just change those numbers and you can practice this method. And question 10 in Harry Potter, the name of these twins are called Fred and George Weasley, the Weasley brothers, Ron's brothers. So how did you get on today? I think this was quite a tricky quiz today, um, but there's ways that you can go through and look at some of those um, questions again and practice makes 
perfect. It says, can you beat your score tomorrow? But can you beat your score on the next quiz? There will be another five quizzes available next week. 10 questions, 10 minutes of your time at 10 a.m. Also, once more, if you can, please subscribe to the Quiz Wizard YouTube channel. But please make sure you ask mum or dad, grandparents or carers at home before you do that. And what that will do is it will give a update to you when there is new content on the channel. Um, also, please don't forget, tell your friends about the Quiz Wizard and uh, hopefully we can get more people playing as well. So, I hope you've enjoyed the quiz today and the quizzes throughout the rest of the week. If you haven't played any of them, you could go back and have a look because that's where they will stay. So, the last thing I need to do then is to say, class dismissed. See you later. <laughs>